one of our top stories now. We are now entering week two of testimony. This is in the Karen Reed murder trial. Now, last week we heard from Canton firefighters who responded to that crime scene, but this week it kicked off the Canton police officers taking the stand as well. Now, their testimony, it's all sort of focusing on the initial stages of their investigation into what happened to Reed's boyfriend. We're talking about Boston police officer John O'Keefe. NBC 10's John Maroney joining us live outside of court in Dedham with the latest on the case. John? Well, the jury is getting its first look at the investigation. Prosecutors say it will prove that Karen Reed is guilty. The defense says not so fast. A frantic 911 call after John O'Keefe's body was discovered in the snow. Karen Reed is heard screaming in the background. She was um, yelling out, is he dead? And is that something she said once, more than once or something? Numerous times. Sergeant Sean Good is one of the first officers to see Brian and Nicole Albert, owners of the home where the Boston police officer was found in a blizzard two years ago. They seem like they're generally in shock that there was a... Objection. Uh, so sustain. Next question, please. Reed is accused of hitting and killing O'Keefe with her SUV, leaving him to die. She says she's not guilty and claims law enforcement conspired to frame her. <laughs> Can police say they used a leaf blower to process the snowy scene, finding a broken glass and blood? The jury was shown six plastic cups containing snow and blood samples, raising defense questions about contamination because they were kept in a stop and shop bag. There's video of Reed's SUV inside the Canton PD with an officer working on the damaged taillight. The defense suggesting it was tampered with as well. During the removal process, that mm -hmm. light was broken even more. No. I wouldn't consider her to be a close friend. Firefighter Katie McLaughlin testified Friday she was an acquaintance of Caitlin Albert, the daughter of the homeowners, not a friend. Judge Canoni prevented the jury from seeing older pictures of the girls together, but the defense says it was given a bunch of new photographs of the women, including one from 2021. It's very clear to us that Katie McLaughlin perjured herself. Now, testimony has ended for the day. We are expecting more police officers on the stand tomorrow. Coming up at 6, my colleague Kirsten Glavin will be here with the latest on what happened in court, as well as developments in this case. We're live in Dedham, John Maroney, NBC 10 Boss.